Let's go. All right, can we get you one more game, man? Come on, come on, go. What? I think it's sorry, your boy left armpit is not the same as the right. I'm talking about outside. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna actually show you guys some fight sticks tutorial and how I actually use this bad boy to get ahead and why I actually use this, right? So I personally use it obviously because I spent $400 on this motherfucker. Yeah. So I was like, bro, I'm about to use the fuck out of this. Sorry for my language, I don't mean to cuss. So the basically the four on this side, these four, you wanna literally uh, adjust these to these four <laughs> buttons on a fight stick. So for these four buttons on a fight stick, these are gonna kind of be your extra buttons. Um, one annoying thing is you're gonna have to adjust a block button. In a lot of fighting games, you can literally hold back, which helps you in fighter games because you just hold back and block. So I suggest one of these two to be your blocks. And then whichever one is your block, the opposite one should be your cameo. I think this is the easiest way to do it uh, simply because you can anchor or pioneer or however you want to call it or tailor uh, those button to literally be your pinky. Now, this is the tricky thing about Mortal Kombat X, right? Although this will be your pinky functioning on both block and uh, cam uh, black and low, it will also be used for um, block. I mean, um, for grabs for your throats. Now, the cool thing about Mortal Kombat is um, since they have a unique button for grabs, it's not like it's a counter thing for grab grab, right? It's two grabs. You got your reverse grabs, which uh, is going to be your four and you got your other grab is going to be your one. So depending on if you read it, uh, you can either block your forward throw or your back throw, one of these buttons, right? And then your throw is going to be either one of these. Now, the last one is going to be a flip change, but I mean a flip stance, but that's whatever. That's kind of um, this, but you know, I don't, I don't know if that really does much. Maybe been able to time things like this. His back two, you could get three of them, right? Sometimes with the controller, I mess up kind of time it right. I do this, I do this, and then I might drop it. You get two fingers like so, and you can do things like this. Bam, it just helps you with more accuracy, you know, you can time it. Another thing as well is projectile, right? So let me actually get someone like maybe a uh, katana uh, for the simple fact that you can um, jump back and and buffer your input for your throw. So as soon as you jump, you just do your, your, your um, arrow, arrow key one, arrow key one. Right, so we're gonna try and buff that out real quick. Like that. All right, you don't do it the same way you do directional input because you have those four directional pads. You can't really do rotations like this, right? But, but with the fight stick, you can do small rotations. So say if I jump, and instead of me jumping neutral and trying to get the back end fast, you just buffer it. So you may go, bam, buffer that bad boy. You may jump fast, bam, you may do it like this, call it late. You may fake, fake him out, bam, over that leg. You may go to the other one. It doesn't matter, but I just think it's more accurate because you hit your left, right, one. Left, right, one. You know, left, right, one. Uh, she also has her thing right here. Let me show you guys too. Her, it's go two, four, right? <clears throat> but in order to do that one chain, you do four, two, four, two, four, one, two, right? Now, on fight stick, or I mean on controller, you do the same thing, but on fight stick, you can hear, look. See what I'm saying? One, two, one, two. Let me try and put the mic a little closer, but look, look. One, two, one, two. Bam. And then the cool thing is, uh, once it's doing that combo, you can wait, right? So you'll be waiting or something. And you may just throw out your sis, right? You may do it again. You may be like, all right, he's blocking. Let me do it this way. Say if he's not blocking, right? You got him up. Oh, he's not blocking. Let me go to the combo. Right? Get the jump in, got him. A little bit more accurate. You can know, time things. Bam, got him again, jumping. See if I get him on the head. Nice. Gonna throw his projectile. Oh, I got him again, jumping. Nice. Good, good pickup. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh wow, I should have just punished that, but I'm gonna get the back throw. I got enough to kill him. And I also got enough to go ahead and reset that corner pressure, baby. Oh 
Oh, nice. Oh, that was no. I could have saved that. There we go. Please him a little bit. I messed up that. Got a feet. Oh, whoa, the little back step had to back up a little bit. I saw that coming. Let's go. Let me just end it. I can't get a little fancy, but let me just end it. And it just feels like you're actually playing old school fighting games. And I love that feeling. I love that feeling. Nice. I dropped that. Oh, wow, I don't know why you did that. Get another guy there. Black and Lee is pretty interesting. Bink! Bink! Don't jump! Oh, that was an accident. I don't know what I was doing. I'm gonna try something different with the, uh, with the cameo. I think I know how to be doing wrong. That is just good, huh? Oh my God, what is that? And I have the EX out of that. That just, that is good. All right, bro. What the fuck? Ah! Nice. That's what hurt. Fight. What? Nice. Nice. Back up. Not this time, buddy.
Let's go. All right, can we get to one more game, man? Come on, come on, go. What a shower, your boy. Left armpit is not the same as the right. Got him. Got him. Kick me, you ain't near nobody. Oh, he dead. Let's go. Not too bad. I'm able to do forties. To get that cross up, so we just on the other side at least. Oh, it's his setup. Oh, it's his setup. Baby DG's. 